What's up everyone out there in YouTube land? I am Rick Knight. Welcome to another video here at The Bad Philosopher. This video I would like to talk about the recent events at the Aretha Franklin uh, funeral. As you all know that Aretha Franklin passed away recently. She was a legendary performer here in, in, in the U.S. Uh, I know her my entire life. Uh, you know, always knew who she was, always heard her music uh, uh, growing up. Um, anytime that uh, a celebrity or, or, or legendary performer at, at her level passes away, it, it's a big deal and the whole world kind of uh, um, takes notice. Uh, but what this video is about is some of the antics that, that has taken place at the funeral. For an example, creepy Bill Clinton, who looked like he died six months ago of a heart attack, um, came to life as soon as Ariana Grande came out to sing and honor Aretha Franklin by performing her song, Natural Woman. You can see on a video and multiple pictures scattered around the internet now of Creepy Bill just staring at her with a huge smile on his face while he looked over to the to the right of him. You had uh, um, Jesse Jackson sitting next to him who uh, also had a weird look on his face. And then he turned to the left and he was talking to Pastor Ellis uh, while he was just gawking at Ariana Grande. Then later on that night, um, right after the performance, uh, Pastor Ellis, who I believe he was performing the, 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 the services, stood up and went to the podium and he was talking, he had a, a Aaron Grande next to him with his arm around her. Um, in a pretty, uh, a little too friendly way, he had his arm wrapped around her. I know she's, she's very tiny and he's a kind of tall dude and his arm like reached around and it was like almost right there by her right breast. And it definitely didn't make him look too good, not only as a pastor, but just as, as a polite person, as, as, as an adult, as, you know, as a man that, that wouldn't, you know, uh, do anything to make a woman feel uncomfortable. I mean, I, I know that the, 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 we don't know what the, the lines are. You know, where do you draw the line between what's comfortable and what's not comfortable? But reaching your arm around a woman like the way he did, it kind of did look a little uh, uncomfortable and like he was trying to get a little too friendly. Later on, he did apologize, though, to... Um, I, I don't I don't remember exactly which I read in the New York Times. I'm not a big fan of them But I swear I read the article about him apologizing for being too friendly So he admits that it definitely did not look very well and it, it looked like a very uncomfortable situation Now my problem with the whole thing is not that the men were gawking at her because she is a beautiful woman She is a very good-looking girl and, and people are gonna stare uh, Men are gonna stare and women if you go that way too, you're gonna stare at her I mean she is good-looking. I, I don't knock anyone for looking at her. I don't knock creepy Bill for doing it um, I don't knock too much past the Ellis for, for for getting his cheap little uh, uh, feels off of her. Maybe I do blame him for getting his Jeep little feels off of her because that, that was a little bit inappropriate. I don't know what he was thinking, if that was his, you know, motive or if it just worked out that way. But uh, the issue I have is that I didn't see any of these feminists or anyone on the left come out and uh, oppose any kind of problem with this. I didn't see anyone stand up any of the, the, the women's rights movement and, and the, the feminist groups and I, I didn't see any of these these lunatic uh, uh, liberals come up and say that you know that it wasn't right that they were staring at her like she was a piece of meat and uh, um, you know that was rape he, the way he touched her I mean some of these crazy women on the left say that just catcalling is, is akin to rape so if that's the case then then what would be the charge against Pastor Ellis for what he did and, 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 and for the rest of them staring at her like they wanted to assault her I don't see any, you know, anyone on the left saying anything about this. It's all swept under the rug. It's no big deal, you know, which is being ridiculous when we when we make a video or when we speak about this or if we write about it. Uh, to be honest, with the men sitting there staring at her, I don't have a problem with it because, you know, I, I understand, you know, I'm a man. I understand. I'm not going to hold them to some standard that, you know, that I don't have to be held to. You know, they saw a beautiful girl. They were looking at her. I get it. I would have done the same thing. Uh, as far as the pastor sticking his arm around her like that, I mean, that was a little too close for comfort in, 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 my, uh, in my book. I mean, usually uh, when, when, when I deal with, with women, um, I try to be very careful and not to, uh, not to overstep any boundaries. You know, that's just the, the, the way I am. I just always feel like, you know, the, you know, even when you meet them or if you know them, you give them a hug and a kiss. I, I try not to, you know, you know I, I make sure I know where my hands are going and, and I... I I, I watch myself because, you know, it is a little awkward and I don't definitely don't want her to think that, that I'm doing, you know, crossing any lines with her or nothing. I'm a little conscious about that. Maybe it's because of, you know, my own uh, um, uh, insecurities or something. I don't know what it is, but I just always make sure I don't cross the line like that. And I don't see anyone on the left saying anything about it. And, um, you know, it's it, not just more hypocrisy from the left. Uh, you know, they're out there to, 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 to say that catcalling is rape, right? You've heard that before from some of the lunatics on the left. You heard that, 
you know, asking a woman to dinner, I've heard by a very fringe group of women on the left, but I've, I've heard it and, and, and seen it written and watched videos about it of women saying just, you know, asking a woman to date uh, out on a date could be harassment. And, you know, here we have a clear cut of, of in their book, in their worldly view, this is a clear cut of, of, of a vicious, heinous sexual assault by Pastor Ellis. And the left is silent. They haven't said anything. Now, of course, I understand that I'm exaggerating. This is not rape. He didn't commit a crime, maybe a moral crime, but he didn't commit a physical crime. All he did was put his arm around her. You know, he apologized for it. I know I'm blowing this way out of proportion, but the issue that I have is that how come the left is not blowing this way out of proportion? If this was someone else's funeral and the people that were on that stage were perceived to be people on the right, or if we knew for a fact there were people on the right and this was them, you, you would have seen a completely different reaction as, as we've seen cr the crazy reactions from, from some of these people on the left. So I'm just wondering where is the criticism, where is the outcry, where is the outrage for this from anyone on the left? And I, just, I don't see it. Um, you know, they turn a, a blind eye when it suits them. When it, when it, when it's, when, when it's for their agenda, they turn a blind eye. You know, or they'll be outraged if it's for their agenda. So once again, it's just more political nonsense. Um, these are people that are just they, they, they contradict themselves. That they're, they're hypocrites, and they turn everything into a political issue. So that's all I have for today. That's I just wanted to put that out there and uh, see how you guys think. You know, hit, hit the like button, hit the bell, wherever it may be. Comment if you agree with me, if you don't agree with me, if you hate me, if you love me, if you think I'm, I'm gorgeous, which I'm sure you do. Just make a comment in the bottom and uh, that's it. Subscribe and uh, uh, stay, stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.